welcome my dear students today let us learn a new topic under our module 2 that is fundamentals of fluid flow so module 2 fundamentals of fluid flow and i am lecturing on my channel civil knowledge so let us go through the topic so what is this fundamentals of fluid flow it is nothing but the properties of fluid whenever the fluid is in flow whichever we dealt in our earlier classes was about the fluid is at rest but now the fluid is flowing that fluid is in motion okay now whenever the fluid is in motion so what are the properties that we can take or we can take for consideration what we can learn from the fluid flow okay so we'll learn about this topic in your coming slides so before telling about the fluid flow see the fluid kinematics so what is this fluid kinematics so kinematics you already know in your first year right so before talking about this fluid kinematics let us just refresh our knowledge with our first year syllabus that is kinematics right so kinematics is defined as that branch of science which deals with the motion of particles without considering the forces causing the motion okay it is the branch of science which deals with the motion of fluid particles but what is the condition without considering the cause it will not con without considering the cause if we deal with the motion of fluid what is the characteristics or what are the properties of the fluid without considering the forces which causes it to flow causes the fluid to flow it is known as fluid kinematics so the study of kinematics is often referred to as the geometry of motion it is generally a continuous function in space time okay this fluid flow is a continuous function in space time so the velocity at any point in a fluid flow field at any time is studied in this branch of fluid mechanics so once the velocity so why we are doing this once the velocity is known what is that once the velocity is known then we can estimate what the pressure distribution in that flow field right once the pressure distribution is known then we can determine the various properties of fluid so what are the various properties it may be density okay we will you'll come to know in the next slides so what are the motion characteristics it may be velocity okay acceleration pressure density so these are the motion characteristics basically we are finding the velocity acceleration pressure and density of what water fine no not water fluid okay it's what is an example of fluid but here generally we'll talk about the fluid right now so to do this we have two approaches in this chapter the methods of determining velocity and acceleration so the method of describing the fluid motions are of two types what are they so the method of describing fluid motion there are two methods they are lagrangius method and eulerian method now we'll see what is lagrangius method and eulerian method in detail so in this lagrangius method a single fluid particle is followed during its motion see here p of t is there no so consider this as a fluid particle it is followed during its motion so it may be going this side or this going this side it is followed okay the fluid the single fluid particle is followed during its motion and its velocity acceleration velocity what are the motion characteristics acceleration pressure and density etc are described at a point at a point in a flow fluid so what is this lagrangius method it is a single fluid particle so whenever we have to find the velocity acceleration pressure density how it is found it is found by we have to follow this particle in motion with the fluid okay in a pandre a fluid particle if it is moving like this okay this, this is a particle and it is moving like this if we have to calculate the fluid particle what is that acceleration ugly pressure or temperature value we have to find here at this point 
again when it comes here we have to again find again when it comes here we have to again we have to find the properties of fluid particle hence we have to be follow it we have to follow this particle in the path which it moves okay we have to follow the path of the fluid particle to know about the velocity acceleration pressure temperature as function of time so this so this following method of a particle is dealt by our mr lagrange's okay so it's called as lagrange method so what we can give an example tracking the location of a migrating bird so whenever a bird is migrating from one place to another place we fix a tracking device on that bird so that we can estimate where the location of the bird so at what time where is the bird so like that the tracking device is following what the bird okay it it will be always with the bird simultaneously as the bird flows the tracking device also flows okay bird move aadage a tracking device kuda bird jothe move agutte so jothe jothe ge move agadane en anthe helthivi naavu lagrange's method anta helthivi fine so this is lagrange's method okay then what is eulerian method so in this eulerian method the velocity acceleration pressure density etc are described at a point so here it is all described at a fixed point in a flow field the eulerian method is commonly used in the fluid mechanics okay here alli lagrange method alli we have to be followed the fluid particle as it moves in its path here we will fix a point one point na fix a ittkonbidtivi a point al bandid matra now calculate martivi aa tara here the location is fixed okay there is a function of position and time right so the particle see here so the particle is fixed we created a point here so in that point whatever the fluid particles will go on or whichever the fluid particle comes in it we will calculate its position as a function of time that is x y z comma t okay what if we can give example count the birds passing through a particular location so i'll consider a particular location so the birds coming through this location okay the birds coming through this location only i have to consider for my calculation so this type of calculation is done by eulerian so it is called as eulerian method okay it is a fixed point so this three birds which are you seeing no this is not thing to calculation only our point is the fixed location is this one so between these two lines how many birds are there two birds so that is my calculation the number of birds in my particular location is two birds like this the eulerian method enu on the position at one location fix maarkonadu a location a fixed point alli baro particle na particle baro particle do enu properties na find maarodu so this is nothing but eulerian method so lagrange's method aitu eulerian method aitu now we'll see with some details okay now see this is a river okay so this is the river and on this river a bridge is there so this is bridge okay you can directly estimate it this is bridge so two persons are here so one is named as lagrangians and one other one is named as euler what is mr lagrange is doing so as the water is flowing as the water is flowing he is also flowing with the water through a boat and he is what calculating the degree okay he is calculating the temperature of that water what is dropping 1 degree per hour so its period of time is per hour but he is calculating as the water is flowing he is also in motion the water is also in motion this is lagrange's method but whenever you come to euler he what is the what is doing he fixed his position on the bridge okay he fixed his position on the bridge and he taken the instrument so he will calculate the temperature of the water rising 2 degrees per hour so he will not change his position of time okay he will not change his position but at that fixed point only he is calculating one of the properties of the fluid that is 
temperature he is calculating the temperature by standing on the bridge so here he is maintaining a fixed point but he is the mr lagrange is moving okay so this illustration can be an example for you for the two methods next what we can see in the eulerian approach the fluid motions at all the points in the flow field is determined by applying the laws of mechanics at all the fixed stations okay in this eulerian approach as the points are fixed no the fluid motions at all the points in the flow field is determined by applying the law of mechanics at all the fixed stations but in the lagrange's approach it is followed in the fluid mechanics this is considerably easier than the lagrange approach and is followed by in the study of fluid mechanics here two images are there first one is lagrange's approach if we take two system are there so this is one system and this is one system okay if we take we this particles okay as water particle so if you want to find the properties of the fluid particle we have to calculate here again we have to calculate here as the fluid is moving we have to move according to that fluid we should follow the fluid so that we can calculate the property of that fluid particle at that particular point of time in case of euler so he fixed this system so whatever the he did not to be followed he will just calculate the properties of the fluid particle in this zone so he is fixed that point so in that point whatever it is coming he will calculate its properties of fluid particle okay it his study is at a fixed station in space whereas lagrange's approach is study of each particle with time okay he is with particle with time here here it is study at fixed stations in space okay now we'll see the next slide what is that difference between lagrange's and eulerian description so what is the difference main difference we can imagine now so imagine a person standing beside a river measuring its properties okay in the lagrange's approach if the person standing beside a river thinks like lagrange's then he throws in a probe probe means an any instrument that can measure the required property for which it is designed okay he throws in a probe that moves downstream with the water so when he throw when he throws the probe no the probe will also move with the water so it is lagrange's approach when you want to really in the when he want to do eulerian approach means he anchors the probe he fixes the probe at a fixed location in the water and then he calculates the experimental me measurements are more suitable to the eulerian description because it is not varying with time but at a fixed position he, its results are fixed no like that so equations of motion of fluid flow in lagrange descriptions are well defined so equations of motion which we studied of fluid flow in lagrange descriptions are well defined but needs to be carefully derived for the eulerian description so these were the dis, uh, differences between the two method so now in our fluid mechanics how we can take that in this chapter so lagrange's method in this method a single fluid particle is chosen and followed during its motion yes we know this its velocity acceleration density etc is described with respect to its location in space and time from a fixed position at a start of the motion yes we do know it next how we can write it in mathematically the position of the fluid particle the position of a fluid particle b x y z so x y z is what the position of the fluid particle at any time t okay at any time t what are the x y z they are the position of the fluid particle with respect to its position so these are position position of the fluid particle but with respect to position a b c at a time t is equal to 0 is given as so at that position so what are the properties of the fluid how we can give at x position x is a function of x is a f1 means x is a function of okay x is a function of what a comma b comma c comma and t okay x is a function of a b c comma t similarly y is a function of f2 of function function is changes okay function value is changes f2 f3 is also function for z okay 
x is a function of a comma b comma c comma t so y is a function of a b c comma t z is a function of z is the function of a b c comma t fine so what are these x x is the position okay x y z okay this we can we call it position or we can call it as distance okay so when we want velocity what is velocity velocity is what distance by time okay so we know the distance or the location of the particle what we have to do we want the velocity of the fluid particle how we can take so the velocity is given by u is equal to so x is f1 of function of a p c comma t so u is equal to what when we differentiate x with respect to t y v is equal to distance by time we know so location is we know x y comma z okay now when we differentiate so what is that v so velocity is equal to what distance by time so what we know we know the position x comma y comma z so what we want we want velocity so u be the velocity of x v be the velocity of y w be the velocity of z now what is u u is nothing but differentiation of this x with respect to time dx by dt v is what dy by dt z is w is what dz by dt so once we get the velocity what we can find again when we differentiate this velocity with respect to time what we are getting we are getting the acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is the rate of change of velocity okay so this resultant acceleration is nothing but acceleration of x is what du dx square by dt square similarly what is the acceleration of uh, a by dy square by dt square similarly what is the acceleration of z dx square by ds d square z by dt square so what is w what the respect to velocity is again differentiated with time to get the necessary acceleration for that particular moment of time so this is how we calculate the resultant acceleration this is how we calculate the resultant velocity in this lagrange's method then how we will calculate in the eulerian method so this in the eulerian method in this method a point or section is chosen in the flow fluid as we know its velocity acceleration density etc are observed at that point so it is commonly used method because of the mathematical simplicity yes when a point is fixed no then everything will be easy so let u v w are the component of resultant velocity so u is the velocity v w are the component velocity resultant velocity in x y and z directions respectively so the velocity components vary along space and time we know this okay so u is a function of velocity is a function of what x comma y comma z in x direction y direction z direction with respect to what time u is a function of x y z comma t what is v v is also function of x comma y comma z comma t w is also a function of x comma y comma z comma t this you have to keep in mind that velocity in their direction is a function of its field space and also its time that time we don't know so we are taking x comma it may be x or it can be it may be y or it may be z but with respect to the time okay then the resultant velocity is given by this one fine so this we are about lagrange's and eulerian method in detail so i hope you understood